If you've studied correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, i.e. quantum grammar, for any length of time, you've probably heard the rule that a vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word is a particle of negation, and it means no. Okay? I get viewer questions asking, then if that is the case, then in correct sentence structure, how can you use words like any, and of, and a, and even the conjunctions and, or? I'm going to give a little clarity to that here. First, let us give syntax values to the terms on this board. Let us perform a function of a bank banker and invest some values here. So we have... These words, the any, the of, and the a, yes, they have a particle of negation at the beginning of the, of the word. However, they are not designated as facts. They are given the function of lodials. They perform a specific function, and we give closure to that function in our syntax key just as the positionals are given closure to, for, of, with, and by, cause, consequence, possessive, authority, and of course the verb, which is the same in plain English fiction babble as it is in correct sentence structure, is a two, as well as the conjunctions which aren't on here, but are, they're always given a syntax value of zero and an or. They're not designated as facts. They perform a specific function. Now, to move a little further, to give a, a verbal scenario, you see over here in the syntax key, one is designated given the value of adverb, and I've underlined it. Now, if you were to use that in a sentence, in a correct sentence structure, for example, for any claim of the adverb is with the modification by the performance, or something similar to that, you would underline the word adverb, and then you would claim it in your dictionary for that claim, and you would give it a finite mean. And show that it's a particle of negation and it's a modifier and that's how you would use that but in correct sentence structure each term in the claim is given a value and is given full closure that's why it's correct sentence structure that's why it's called positioning your facts with the correctness because you give closure to the position to the function and to the finite mean of all the words. So you convey full closure to your claims. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching.